Hi guys, so today's video is combining two of my favorite things, my love of the Stormlight Archive series and my love of dogs. So if you've ever seen people walking around with their dogs and they're starting to resemble each other, that's kind of what this video is going to be. It's very random. I don't know if anybody's gonna watch it or like it, but I have taken some amazing fan art that I will have all of the artists linked in the description bar down below. And these are all for various different characters from the Stormlight Archive series. There will be 10 different characters we'll be looking at. And I have found some dogs that I think if the Stormlight Archive characters were dogs, this is what they would look like. In the description bar, I will also have a link to an organization that helps out animals. I am going to be donating a minimum of $50 or if this video, if half of the AdSense revenue from this video in one month's time is over $50, then I will donate that amount instead. But either way, at the very least, I will be donating $50 to the organization. Definitely check them out. They help out a lot of cats and dogs and puppies and kittens. So I'll have that linked. But either way, I'm weirdly excited about this video. I just, I feel like I picked some really good dogs <laughs> to represent the characters. I'm going to start with the Dalinar one <laughs> because this one is too perfect. So I will admit that some of these dog breed names, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce. Ironically, this first one, I actually used to have two of these kinds of dogs, but I am I never knew for a fact how to pronounce it. It's either Connie Corso or Cane Corso, but either way, that is the first one. This would be for Dalinar. This dog, oh my gosh. First off, this dog is majestic. I really want that animal. I'm pretty sure it weighs more than me, but oh my gosh, is it glorious. But is that not Dalinar? <laughs> so when I was picking this one, because of course we got to do a run through of what made me think that this dog represents him. I needed to find a dog that was not necessarily pretty in the basic sense, the way something like a Siberian Husky is. I needed to find something that was majestic, but powerful and intense and kind of a little droopy and looked a little bit grumpy, but also looked like it could just F you up real quick. Like it could kill you in an instant, just destroy your whole life, your whole town. That's what I feel like this dog looks like. It, it's perfect for Dalinar, especially when you think of Dalinar as the Blackthorn. Before I move into the next ones, I just want to say with these 10 different ones, definitely let me know which one ends up being your favorite. And then if you end up wanting to participate in this, my Instagram and Twitter are at ebnovel, so you can definitely at me if you find a picture of a dog that just instantly makes you think of a Stormlight Archive character, please, please feel free to tag me in your Instagram stories. I would love to see it. I'll share it. I think that this is, I mean, this is like the good old wholesome content that we sometimes need more of on YouTube. Taravangian will be next. I feel like this is a good one to contrast Dalinar. So Taravangian was a little bit difficult for me because I wanted to find, I'm not gonna go into spoilers, this will be spoiler free, but I wanted to find a dog that if you imagine this dog whimpering, it would be so sad, but also this dog looks very innocent, like it wouldn't be up to anything mischievous, but also maybe it can be up to some mischief. That's the kind of dog I was looking for. I also needed a dog that looked like an old man. And once again, I have actually had one of these before. The dog I picked for this one is a West Highland White Terrier. Tell me that this is not a great pick. For Taravangian, imagine that dog being sad and then your heart breaks, but then imagine that dog kind of getting into some trouble and you're like, hey man, don't be doing that. They look too innocent. They seem like they're too innocent and wise. And actually they're probably digging holes in your backyard or they're getting into the toilet paper. I just feel like this dog embodies that so well. I don't know. I just feel like little Westie is perfect. The Westie that I had as a kid, his name was Buster and he was so sweet. Next up we have Shalon Devar. Shalon was actually one of the most difficult ones for me. At first I was thinking maybe a Rhodesian Ridgeback because I wanted to find, <laughs> I like how I'm like dogging. I really did put way too much thought into this. I spent way too much time trying to find the perfect dog for each of these, but either way, Rhodesian Ridgeback was what I was thinking initially because I wanted to find a dog that had some kind of a red tint to their coat. But I was like, no, I don't know. Something about a Rhodesian Ridgeback just, it doesn't fit. And so other dogs I was looking at, I'm like, no, that looks too sweet. 
or no, that one looks too kind of derpy. I need something that looks, it looks intelligent, but also unsure and curious. And I found the perfect one. It's a red bone coon hound, and it definitely has that reddish tint, which I thought was perfect to go with Shalon's red hair since it is so notable. But I just, don't you feel like this dog could just have so many different facets to itself? And it would all embody Shalon very well. And I don't, it just has this look in its eyes. Like it's, it's taking in everything a little bit more. If it's little doggy paws could draw, it would be drawing too. I also feel like it's got that sense of being very regal and there are parts of Shalon's personality that can be very regal, but I also feel like it could get into a little bit of trouble, could be a little bit rambunctious, which I feel like also goes with a different part of her personality. I just, I feel like all of the different elements to what makes Shalon Shalon are represented in this dog. Next up would be Adolin Colin. Not gonna lie, this one was very easy for me. For a lot of these, I wanted to find a certain, sometimes more unique breed or something just, I needed to find all the right combination of things. And Adolin's was just, it was so easy. Golden Retriever. I feel like a Golden Retriever just perfectly captures Adolin. And just so you know, if you recognize this particular Golden Retriever, it's because this is Joe Rogan's dog, Marshall. But anyway, this doggy, I just, it looks, it's got that kind of happy-go-lucky little expression on its face. It seems like it's very sweet, just kind of wants to have a good time, just wants to get along with everybody, doesn't look like it's going to really cause any trouble, it's not going to be mean or anything like that. It's just, it's just a silly, happy little doggy. Now for Adolin's brother, Renarin. Renarin was definitely one of the trickier ones because I wanted to find a dog that looked intelligent, but also maybe was a smaller breed because Renarin's not exactly like, really tall or doesn't have this really intimidating build to him or anything like that. I wanted to find a dog that was a little bit on the smaller side, looked sweet, maybe a little unsure, a little timid, but also like it's very intelligent at the same time. And I decided this little terrier was perfect. It looks a little bit unsure about what's going on. Looks like it's gonna sit back and analyze the situation before it gets too involved. But also it looks like if it came down to it, it would jump to rescue you. It would do whatever it could to protect you and love you and be loyal to you. I just think it's just, Renarin's a sweetheart of a character and this doggy is a sweetheart of a doggy. Switching now to their aunt, which would be Novani. And this one was also kind of tricky. I wanted to find a dog that was very a very beautiful dog, but very mature looking and kind of motherly looking. This dog looks like a dog you could cuddle and it would snuggle and be sweet and loving to you, but also would protect you and have that vicious mama bear attitude, but is also really intelligent. And I decided to go with an Alaskan Malamute for this one. This particular one too, I feel like it just captures Navani. I feel like the eyes too in this one, they match Navani really, really well. I also was very particular about this one because one of the characters we're gonna get into next is her daughter, Yasna. And I wanted to find a dog that looked kind of like it could be the mother of the dog that I picked for Yasna. I still wanted to go with a different breed for Yasna, but I wanted them to kind of resemble each other, but have Navani's look more motherly and less ferocious, because the one I picked for Yasna, this dog is awesome. Since I hyped up Yasna's so much, we'll go ahead and switch to her now. First off, all of the artwork has been awesome, but this Yasna art is just so amazing, so cool. But the dog that I picked for this one would be a Shiloh Shepherd. And I, cause I was kind of thinking maybe German Shepherd initially for either Yasna or Navani, but I don't know. I just, I couldn't find the right German Shepherd. I feel like their ears maybe were just a little too big and I needed a, I just needed a dog that looked ferocious and German Shepherds, I feel like look a little bit, depending on the one, but I don't know, they look almost sweeter. Like you could snuggle them more. And I wanted to find something that looks like it would bite your face off and rip you to pieces and then eat you and not feel bad about it at all. And I feel like this dog, I mean, I would still snuggle with this dog, but I, I wanted it to have the look that it would tear your whole life apart and, and then it would just have a good day. I feel like this dog is perfect for Yasna because Yasna is so ruthless. She can be so cold hearted and bitter and 
awesome. And I feel like this dog captures it perfectly. And then looking at it compared to the dog I picked for, Navani. What do you guys think? Do you feel like this was a good, not just finding the dog to the character, but also the dog's gotta look kinda like they could be mother and daughter? Next up, we have Hoyd. And this particular character, I feel like was definitely one of the most difficult because I knew what I wanted to find for, for the look of the dog, but I couldn't think of a dog that fit. So the look I was going for was a dog that looked like it would just be slinking around and it's very intelligent, but it might be getting into some stuff. You don't really know what it's getting into. Nobody really knows what it's getting into, but it's up to something and it's a little bit sneaky, shadowy. I just, that vibe for this dog that I was wanting, but I didn't want it to be too big because Hoyd is not really described as being really massive and I didn't want it to be too small because I feel like it still needed to have a certain presentation. So I settled on a breed of wolf dog. And when I found this one, it was through searching Northern Inuit dog. And this particular one is all black. It is gorgeous. And tell me that this is not Hoyd. At least tell we see Hoyd in the Stormlight Archive. I feel like this dog, like it looks like it's up to something. It looks a hint intimidating, like it might possibly be able to destroy everything you love. Or it might just be a little mischievous. You don't really know. And I feel like that's exactly Hoyd. You're like, are you out to destroy the whole universe and become the most powerful person? Or are you just kind of snarky? I can't really tell. Next up, we have Kaladin. Okay, Kaladin was stupidly one of the hardest ones for me because there's so many things about Kaladin's personality that I could have zeroed in on and then found a dog that fit that one part because Kaladin, we all know, often is depressed. And so I could have found like a really sweet, sad looking dog because you know the dogs that look like they have eyebrows and they just have the sweet faces that look sad all the time. I could have found that, but I was like, he's got to also look a little bit tough. He's got to look a little frightening. And I, it's hard to find a sad looking dog that also looks frightening. I also wanted something with slightly longer hair. That was the other thing too. Like Dalinar, I knew instantly some kind of Mastiff because it's big and it's got kind of the droopy, grumpy looking face. So I was like, ah, oh, easy. But Kaladin's like, when you think sad, sort of mopey dog, but then you also think bigger, I feel like you don't also think a longer coated dog. And I was like, what kind of dog would fit that? And I promise, I in my brain, I was like, don't pick an American Akita because that's what you own. Everybody knows you love Kaladin. Everybody knows how obsessed you are with your dog. Don't pick an American Akita. But I had to, I just feel like it's perfect. So I know this dog's name too. I follow this dog. It's one of my favorite dogs on Instagram in the world, even though I've never encountered this dog. Oh my gosh, is this the most beautiful dog? So this dog's name is Malcolm. Malcolm lives in France. He is the most gorgeous American Akita except for my Luna Bear, of course. He has the perfect combination of all of those things I was talking about. You look at the picture and you're like, wow, that's a beautiful dog. But then you're also like, that's kind of a scary dog. But then you're like, oh, but he looks kind of sad. He looks like he'd be kind of sweet. He just has all these layers to him, all these layers. And I just feel like that's, you know, that's Kaladin. He's kind of scary. He could definitely, hurt you, but at the same time, he wants to protect you and he's really loyal. And you're like, oh, this dog is perfect. Now onto the last one. This might be my favorite out of all of them. Every time I look at this dog next to this character, I giggle and it would be Zeth. So Zeth, I knew immediately, I knew immediately the perfect dog for Zeth. So Zeth is kind of smaller, but packs a punch. And I'm like, what's the dog? that's smaller, packs a punch, and looks very unhappy all the time. English Bulldog, it was too easy. And I found the perfect English Bulldog too, because Zeth is known for wearing white. And I found this white English Bulldog and it makes me giggle every time I see it. That dog looks so upset. I hope you had a great time with this video. I know it is so different, but I really enjoyed doing it. And if you watched this, then thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And if you wanna see more normal Stormlight Archive content, I'll have my Stormlight Archive playlist linked. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.